welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, and we're here at City Walk, which traditionally is not known for the best uh, for food and restaurant options. <laughs> uh, usually City Walk in, in, in uh, Florida is like awesome. There's so many good places. Thankfully, they're bringing some of those places over here. Uh, we've already been to Antojitos, but they're doing the grand opening, so we're gonna get to try all the things. Yes. and see what the food's like. And they're revamping their Vivo Italian kitchen. Who could say no to free food, am I right? Yes, come <laughs> with us on this adventure. We are here tonight at the Vivo Italian kitchen in City Walk, Universal Hollywood. And we're trying some of the new items on their revamped menu. First off is we're trying the sausage ragu, and we're also trying the pesto trophy. Excited to try these. It smells so good. This one is the pesto. Mm. Can't go wrong with pasta. Yeah. That's delicious. It's really good. And then this is just classic sausage meatballs. Organized. Bolognese with it looks like penny pasta. These are pretty good for like traditional pastas, but there's not like anything like super special about them. I, I thought we, this event was going to be us trying like samples of the entire mm -hmm. menu, and inside they actually have sample dishes of each of the menu items. So maybe we can go inside and check those out and uh, see what this menu holds. They have a bunch of things on display here. They have the grilled salmon. They have a lasagna, which looks very tasty. Chicken piccata. Sausage ragu. Ooh, I'd get that. Squid ink pasta. And they have got a couple pizzas here. A margarita pizza, bruschetta, and arugula pizza. And they have a classic caprese. And they have a calamari, house-made meatballs. We found more food. We found what looks like the bruschetta, which I am a big, huge fan of. It's very good. I think what's special is the bread. It seems like there's like olives or something in it. Not a bad option. All right, I found the goods. Looks like they have four different cocktails for us to try. I think I'm gonna get one of each, just, you know, for science, to taste them all. They had four of their signature drinks out for us to taste test, and you know your girl is there for you to try them all. First up is the Old Fashioned Classico, which my guess is just a classic old fashioned. We've got Woodford Reserve Bourbon, Antagustra Bitters, a Sugar Crew, and Brandied Cherry. Cheers. It's a little strong. The bitters, very bitter. I'm more of a whiskey drinker than an old-fashioned drinker, but this is good. Uh, it has some fruity notes to it. I would get this again. I normally don't like drinks like this at all, but I'm willing to give it a chance tonight. It smells good, actually. <laughs> it tastes like pure bourbon. Really good bourbon. If you like old fashions, You'll definitely like this. <laughs> it tastes like pure alcohol to me. A little bit, yeah. I'll give you the fruity notes. But yeah, this one's gonna be Peter's. Next up on the list is the Hollywood Sunset. This one is Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum, Cherry Hearing, Gifford Almond Syrup, Pineapple Juice, and Fresh Lime Juice. Ooh, this one's really good. It's not too sweet, even though it looks like really tropical and fruity but it tastes like tropical juices and maybe rum. But this one is not strong like that old fashioned. I mean, it is strong, but not overpowering. While I do like whiskey, uh, I really do, my heart, <laughs> my heart lies in the fruity drinks. So this looks like it's totally up my alley. Let's take a sip. Yeah, you don't really taste the alcohol. The alcohol is very subdued, which is dangerous because that means you can drink a bunch of these and then you'll be sitting on the escalator in City Walk while it's going up and down. Happened to me once. <laughs> I did it. 
got yelled at by the city walk security. Oh no. Peter, was this before we met? I came here on a, a trip many years ago, probably like 20 years ago. I saw the Matrix Reloaded at the City Walk Theater over there. Wow, you're really dating yourself. And, and then we went to uh, Saddle Ranch, and they had this thing called the AMF, which I can't say on this channel because we'll get demonetized, but it's this huge drink, and I drank it, and I don't remember anything else. I just remember that my friend said that I was riding up and down the escalator, sitting down on the stairs like it was a ride. And he's not kidding, those drinks, I used to get them too, back in my early 20s, and they're huge. Let's pour one out to Saddle Ranch. <laughs> we'll always remember you. I don't, I'm not really gonna pour it, I just wanted to be dramatic. Next up is the Cucumber Cooler. Crystal Head Vodka, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, cucumber, and muddled mint leaves. Yeah, ooh, this is good. This one's basically just like vodka and cucumbers. And that's what it tastes like, but it's not too strong. Taste it. It's very delicious. Very like refreshing. Mm. It almost tastes like a mojito, like a cucumber mojito. I think there might be some mint leaves in there. This one's a winner. And last but not least is the Spritz Rosa. It has Copensaldo Prosecco, Rose 22, and Apervitio. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm here to drink it. So what I get is this is kind of like a wine spritzer. I'm not really a wine drinker, so I'm gonna try this out. It has a we weird range of flavors. First it's sweet, and I liked it, and then it was very dry. I don't know, you gotta try this. Uh, I'm good, I'm not a yeah. Ooh, this is good. Another refreshing one. Okay, so they have a couple dessert samplers here to try. Uh, the first of which is the tiramisu. There's a, it's a mini tiramisu. They have a mini cannoli. They have a mini chocolate vasi and a mini ricotta cheesecake. I'm not a big tiramisu person, so cheers. That is good for tiramisu. It's very good. Chocolatey, creamy, sweet. I'll let you have the rest of it though. Yay! <laughs> oh no. This is good. Wow. This might be the best tiramisu I've ever had. Wow. So creamy and decadent. Hint of chocolate little bit of like a coffee taste. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try the cannoli. I'm a fan of cannolis. And this is a pretty good cannoli. It's very sweet. Hey, save some for me. You're gonna have to get your own cannoli. What? Come on, okay. I'm the opposite of Peter and I don't normally like cannolis because like sometimes I have like ricotta cheese in them and I'm not a fan, but we'll try this one for you. Not bad. Not, yeah, it's pretty good actually. I think I prefer the tiramisu. One point for the tiramisu. This bottom of the list so far. You can finish it. I don't want it. This is the ricotta cheesecake, I think. This is good. <laughs> it does not taste like ricotta at all. It tastes like a creme brulee, like flan mixed combination together. Wow, this is really, really good. What is a bossy? I'm not quite sure. It looks like it's pudding with some cake mixed in. We're gonna try it right now. We need to get like some some of the layers. Oh no, this is tough. Get all the layers. Yeah, it's like cake with like pudding in between. It's good. It's very rich. The taco is very rich. I think you're gonna love this because you're more of the taco person here. <laughs> you had me a chocolate cake. 
Yeah, I don't know what a vasi is, but this just tastes like pudding cake, pudding cake, whipped cream. Delicious. You know what a vasi is? It's a vase where they just put cake in it and then they call it vasi to be fancy. I think. Maybe. Probably not. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to Antojitos. We've already tried out some of their food. You can check out our vlog up there. But uh, It's amazing, check it out. It is, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can try some more stuff. I'm excited to eat some of the, all the good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're starting with dessert first. First we have the flan. And then we have the tres leches. I'm excited to try them both. The best flan that I've ever had. Yum. Now the tres leches. Both delicious. And just like over at Vivo, they have the entire menu on display here, starting with the guacamole trio, which you saw us eat previously the quesadillas, the iolte, which looks amazing, the carnitas nachos, which look incredible, the fajitas combination, churros, flan, carne asada tacos, enchilada trio. All this looks so delicious, and I wish they had this out for us to eat, but they only have some tacos and some chips and guacamole, so that will have to do. Don't worry, we got all the tacos here to try for you. She, she, she had too much to drink. Hey! Leave a comment down below if you like Kitra when she's had her liquor. <laughs> Please don't. This is the jicama shrimp taco. It's a breaded shrimp taco with habo mango salsa. Looks delicious to me. Good. It's got a kick to it. It's a little spicy. I think it's that habanero salsa. Mm. It's, it's hot. Wow. It's got a real kick to it. It's spicy. Peter won't try this because he doesn't like seafood. I don't like seafood. Oh, wow, this is really spicy. Not in a bad way, just. Dang, I'm surprised. I like it though. Okay, this is the polo. Uh, polo? 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 Okay, so this is the polo. Why can't I say it? Okay, so this is the polo mole taco. It's basically chicken with mole. Uh, I'm gonna try it. The mole sauce, I think, is what makes it spicy, but not too much spice. A lot of flavor to this. Oh, you're not gonna let me try it? That one's all for me. Okay. This one is 100% vegan. It's a vegan impossible chorizo and a vegan queso. Wow, that face. This is good. Did I, I like, I feel like I turned into a vegan. <laughs> Over these past couple days, I've been eating some really good vegan food and this is no exception. Wow. Just know, just because it's vegan doesn't mean it's good for you. I was gonna say, we recently went to Galaxy's Edge and I tried a vegan Ronto is Ronto wrap and that was amazing. And this is like, you can't tell that this is not real chorizo. It's like, it tastes, wow. This is so, do you wanna try it? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay, so we were about to leave Antajitos and the chef came over and he was like, have you tried the, uh, what were they? The chicken chicharrones. And we were like, no. No. So uh, he was like, let me go get you some. He runs out with a dish, and now we have 
a dish of, uh, I guess they're kind of like pork rinds but with chicken. What we were trying to do is uh, represent chicharrones in a way that weren't exclusive, right? So we wanted to do chicken, which is a little less polarizing than pork. So we take this really amazing chicken thigh meat and we cook it twice, so it's extra, extra crunchy, and we toss it with a little chili lime salt and toss it with a little queso fresco and fresh chopped cilantro. We serve it with a couple of these really amazing sauces. We have uh, some salsa verde cruda and a jalapeno ranch. Excellent, it's like Chicken Wings 3.0. It's excellent, come by and try it, please. So let's try this out for the first time. It looks and smells really good. I don't know if I should dip it, I'm gonna dip it. You should dip it. Okay. It tastes like a more deep fried pork rind. Way better. I actually don't even think it tastes like a pork rind. It tastes more like popcorn chicken. Like if you were popcorn chicken or like chicken finger, but like in a really bite size with dipping sauce, and it's good. I would get this as an appetizer for yeah. sure. I don't like pork rinds, and I like this, so. It was so loud in Itzakitos, we had yeah. to get out of there. I'm not yeah. sure if you can even hear anything that was said, yeah. but we love the food. It's so our, good. I think it's my favorite restaurant at City Walk at it's this point. It's one of the best. It's one of the best. Yeah, if you want to see the last time we came here, click on the link right above. Yeah. If you want to follow the further adventures of us to theme parks, eating bad stuff, making <laughs> bad decisions, uh, what should they do? You should subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.